Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Air Force. And today we're reading for the collective. Hey collective. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Okay. I want to say thank you. All right. One of my uh uh followers purchased this um new deck for me. So thank you. Okay. They don't want to be known, all right, and I have to respect that. But I thank you kindly, boo. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> y'all must be here for the shits, huh? <laughs> All right, y'all, shit. So let's get into it. I hope you guys are having a beautiful Friday. All right. All right. So channel message: What's going on with your baby mom or your baby dad? Okay. So um, we, uh, of course, me and my spirit guy, we went, you know, gallivanting and whatever. <laughs> Through the spiritual streets. And um, it said, honestly, so the, the words came up. We were traveling on this roller coaster. The uh, Where we were going was unknown. Spirit wouldn't tell me. And I was like, where are we going? And Spirit was like, just sit back and just just enjoy the ride. So I'm like, okay, no problem. So we on this ride, this roller coaster. It's just me and Spirit. we at the front of the actual roller coaster. I'm holding on because, like I said, I don't know what's to, what's coming, what's anticipated. So I'm going to hold on as for like a safety precaution, right? So as the um, roller coaster starts to drift into like into active mode, um, I heard help, help. So I'm looking around because it sounded like a child, right? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking behind, I'm looking underneath. It wasn't a child. It was a grown person that reverted back to their childlike state. Okay, so this person is going through a lot of things right now. A lot of traumas that they have had during their childhood is now being exposed or there is being triggered. It's triggering them into this childlike state. Um, this person, so this your baby dad or your baby mom, and the reason why I'm saying it in that way is because they're just that baby dad, baby mom. Um, and they're currently going through something right now that they're not telling you. They're hiding because, like I said, I heard help help but it was a very weak help and i'm looking around because i thought it was a child so i'm looking around like yo what's up and the train uh not the train the roller coaster is moving so now you know what i mean i'm starting i was like oh no we gotta save this child but it wasn't a child it was an actual adult that reverted back to their childlike state because everything that they have worked for everything that they have done is like it's, it's empty like this whole person's their, their energy their org feel like it's empty. It's not filled with substance. There's no happiness. There's no laughter. They're going through a very dark time. So we're going to tap in and we're going to see what's going on here. Yeah, look. Hmm. So cross is at the bottom. So it says communication from the spirit realm. Okay. So which is me. All right. Um, all right. I'll flip it this way. Also communication from the spirit, spirit realm. Um, faith, joy, completion, sense of enlightenment here. So this is what this person is looking for. They're looking for some form of communication from a spirit world. I feel like this person may not have been spiritual before. Okay, but because of the beat down, the spiritual beat down that they are receiving at this moment or this time, because your, your baby mom or your baby dad is actually going through karma at this time. Okay, and spirit says you do not, don't reach out to them, don't help them, don't assist them with shit. Okay, this is why they came out in the way that they came out here. They they literally reverted back to a childlike state because they can't handle the karma that they have created for themselves here. Strong psychic vibrations, good luck, mirroring, mir mm. mirroring relationships, inner healing, irresistible chemistry. So this person still truly like love you, really has a very um very strong connection to you. They see you as good luck here, okay, and they want you. They, so they look at the, so let me just show you the mirror. See the mirror? Like I be telling you guys, is we live in a mirrored world. So what this person sees is what they want to be mirrored back to them in that kind of way. This person has a very strong connection of chemistry towards you still. They lust over you, okay? They truly lust over you still. You may not know that. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, they still lust over you. person also has some psychic abilities that they are afraid of tapping into they don't think it's normal so they are afraid of tapping into that they could be afraid of you because you are spiritual too i'm hearing this person is too spiritual well die 
Yeah, you too spiritual. You know too much. And that also scares them is what I'm hearing. You can clean a room out with just your, your intuition, bruh. Yeah, so coffin. So even though they still love you or like you, whatever, I hear love. They still love you really hard. Um, they're in a period of mourning because they uh, realized who you truly were. So you were placed in plain sight or you were placed in hidden sight. Is that how that? Hidden in plain sight. You were hidden in plain sight amongst this person here. And this person dogged you so bad, belittled you to other people, disrespected you on so many different occasions. Didn't wasn't there for you to protect you or to stick up for you. This could be male or female, okay? They weren't there to protect you here. And you saw the fuck shit. You was like, you know what? Well, I mean, shit. I don't know my worth. You don't see my worth. So why the fuck am I staying around? And you decided to move forward here. And when you move forward here, um, you created a tower. You, you left this person deep in their emotions here because this person always thought that you would always be there for them. Or you were always like whatever they do to whatever they say. And most of these things they would say behind your back. They didn't even have the, this, that, just that bitch shit, the coward shit. They don't even have the audacity to say how they truly feel. Whether it's good or bad. Listen, if you don't like me in this negative, hey, I could take that shit. Say, I don't like you. All right, cool. Bye. I'm not going to feel no type of way because there's people that like you and there's people that don't like you. So that's that's the norm. I'm not going to feel no type of way if you don't like me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That's a, you, that's, that's a you problem. My energy is too strong for you. And because of that, it triggers you. Again, that's not my problem. That's something you got to deal with. So I don't give two fucks if you like me or not. Period. Anywho, we have her. <laughs> her is, um, so your baby mom or your baby dad is going through a lot of emotional and financial crisis. Okay, money is, is completely depleted. Um, they feeling very smothered. Um, there's a huge dilemma. There's a huge dilemma in regards to money. They're trying to figure out how they're going to pay these bills. How am I keep hearing, how am I going to feed these kids? I keep hearing, how am I going to feed these kids? How am I going to pay this? How am I going to pay these bills? This person is really stressed out. Their money just stopped out of nowhere. Someone lost their job as well, too. Um, they're losing their car or they lost their car. They won't tell you this, though. They think everything, they 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 want you to think that everything is A-OK. -okay. Everything is not. Everything is not A-OK. -okay. This person is very irresponsible. So if you were to talk and have a conversation, hey, what's going on? Da, 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 da. They're not telling you the truth. Okay, they're not telling you the truth. So I need for you to understand they are lying, but they are so caught up in debt that they reverted back to this childlike state back to the point where I just wish I could turn back the hand of time that kind of way. So they're feeling very guilty and they're feeling a lot of regret. So we have the Bible here. Okay. Narrow mindedness, guilt, lies, deception, disagreements, broken relationships, very misguided. Yeah. So this person has decided to take on, take advice from other people that were just like them. Very uh, low vibrational, um, willing to trample or stamp on anyone to get ahead, like a doggy dog world, basically. And this person basically was around those type of individuals here. So they would always give this person bad advice here. And by giving them bad advice, it also continued to um, enable this narrow mindedness or the way that they perceive the world is very narrow minded. Um, this person is a habitual liar. They're, they're always into some kind of form of deception here because that's what they were taught. That's what they will learn. So, you know, that's what you will learn and it has worked for you. You want to continue with that bullshit, right? Yeah, this person is misguided here. Very well misguided. Taking wrong information, wrong advice from people, and that's why they, they ass is, in fu is fucked right now. Unexpected death.
Your baby mom or baby dad is on the verge of suicide. They are frustrated. Life is beat life is beating them down. Every time they receive some kind of Every time they receive some kind of um, surprise, to say unpleasant surprise, yeah, this person is, um, this person is at the end. Did someone is drowning in there like sorrow? I hear lots of crying. They never would have expected this. So this is a main, yeah, they never... They, did, they never expected their life to turn like this. They're keeping this very close to their chest. Family is aware. They don't know exactly what's going on, but they're aware that something is going on to the point where they kind of have to rally around this person. I also want to mention this as well, too. By them rallying, rallying around this person, not only are they also um, accepting to take on this person's debt as well, too, there are a lot of things that's going to happen to this person, to pers to this group of people here. So it's coming to the point where, like, the way, shit, the way karma is really relentlessly being released on your baby mother or your baby father here, they cannot handle this shit. And it's to the point where they feel very cl closed up, very caged. They feel like a caged bird. Like, they feel like they can't speak up or speak out because they're the reason why all this is happening. They caused this. They treated you like shit, and they did not believe in karma. They didn't believe in spirituality. They didn't believe in any of that stuff. They didn't realize that you were an angel, okay? A male or a female could be an angel, take a high resonance. They didn't realize how protected you were. They didn't realize that. They didn't realize that you were very connected as well, too. You had a lot of strength. You had a lot of wisdom, okay? I think like I feel like you also try to assist or help this individual at times, but every time you would try to help, they would think like, oh, no, this bitch is crazy or this nigga is crazy in that kind of way. And now they're like literally, they, they shot themselves in the foot. And that could be a literal thing too, child. Somebody's foot could have been messed up or shattered or gunshot or something. Something happened to somebody's foot, child. Now they're looking for help. <laughs> Look for synchronicities to help you. Feeling lost for guidance will arrive. Yeah, this person's looking for guidance. Okay. They're, they're looking to for some kind of a excuse me, higher source or higher power to assist them in getting out of this situation. This debacle here. Mm -mm, what else they doing? Now they're watching you. What the? F <laughs> okay. What? Your best style. All right. So they're watching you. You collective. You have a new opportunity that's coming. It's a mis it's a mystery. You have good potentials that are coming in. New opportunities. Your door is open. So you have new blockages. This person has to sit back and watch you succeed. Ain't that the best type of karma? When they fuck up or fucked up over you, they fucked up the connection and you moving forward and the best karma is to you going to be successful and they got to watch chef's kiss. <laughs> chef's kiss. <laughs> Here we go. Scroll. Miscommunication and gossiping. So, here it is. Not only are they fucking drowning in debts, they may have lost their place, they may have lost their car, they lost their job, all shit fucking up, right? They still got it in their dirty, bad-minded fucking heart to still speak ill about you. It's weird because... There's an irresistible chemistry that this person has toward, towards you. This person, so when they are around family, family members and friends, they speak about you in such a vile, nasty, negative way. 
But when they're alone by themselves, they're they're watching you, they're watching your pictures, your videos, so like you on social media, whatever, they're watching you. They are watching you. They're watching, trust me on this. They're going through your videos, your pictures, they're smiling, and they, 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 just, they just keep reminiscing about, about you and them. But when other people come around, they always initiate the negative conversation about you. And that don't make sense. You don't want you. You know what? Anywho. And then we have Pram. P-R-A-M. Try harder to reach your goals. Prideful and egotistical health concerns. So not only does this person, baby mama, baby dad, have um, health concerns, their life is completely in shambles. It's fucked up. They still find it in their dirty heart to talk ill about you. And they don't realize and not understand why, the reason why they're in the predicament that they're in. So basically, they did not learn their lesson. Okay. So this karma was definitely justified. If you were going through shit, negative shit, a whole lot of shit throwing at you, being thrown at you by the universe, why do you continue to stay in that negative space if shit is falling apart, if shit is just not right? That don't make sense. Make a change. Do something different. Child staff, overuse of power and authority, losing wealth and focus in life, too much expectations and pressure. So that could be another thing. Maybe their family is expecting them to, to be the breadwinner, to take care of the family, or they are, seen, are seen to be either the matriarch or the patriarch of the family. Yes, some older kids or adult children, if they're making more money than the actual parents, the parent would then step aside and push this person into be becoming the matriarch or the patriarch of the family in, in many unknown ways of this adult child, okay? So I feel like this person is is may have picked up their responsibility to be that, that role within the family here, but they, they have way they have overused their power and authority, and it's not only hurting them, it's hurting everyone else in the family dynamic as well, too. So all of the families or any of the family members that are, decide to help this person out, they will start to see shit fall apart in their life as well, too. So. Uh, so we have wedding ring here. Because they're drowning in debt, they're drowning in their sorrows here, they don't want you to know that. They're going to pop back up like everything is A-OK. -okay. And they may try to recultivate some kind of connection here, beginning of a new relationship. They feel like you are the solution to their problem. You're not, and you will never be. Everything that they try, I don't care what it is in regards to money or assistance, they will not receive it. The answer is completely no. I don't care which way they decide to go. It could be through uh, court, uh, custody. It could be through child support, all that shit. I just keep hearing decline. Fuck no. I just, I literally heard fuck no. Fuck no. Damn. Say that. Okay. Um, that's kind of odd, but okay. I've never heard of it in that way before. So this person looks at you as a cash cow, a money cow, right? Like you are very lucky. Um, you always come coming in the clutch, things of that nature, right? Like you just a big, big ass money grab, money bag, right? Spirit has something up their sleeve here in regards to money. Like someone is trying to tamper with your money or mess with your money here. And this person gonna be in for a rude awakening. We have wristwatch, regret. They can't tamper with your money. They can't do anything with your money. They can try. They, anything they try is going to fail. But there's a caveat behind that failure as well, too, that they don't want me to speak about. Damn. If they're going to try to come up after you, Lantern is here, too. It's very one-sided. One-sided information and gossip. They avoid misunderstandings and arguments. Situation that will stir up envious people. Yeah, so... They're giving out one-sided information here. They're not giving the real true reason as to why they are feeling and why they're struggling here. They will never say. But um, someone is trying to get you to help them um, monetary and um, that's, it's, it's not going to work. It's, if they even attempt to try to come after you for any kind of money, it's going to Man, spirit is not playing with you. Spirit don't play about you. Ew, five of swords. 
They not getting it. Justice is for you, collective. The will of fortune is in your favor. They drowning. They're drowning. And they want to argue and they want to fight with you. But spirit is like, that's not going to happen. If they decide to do anything, any kind of court something, any kind of like uh, money, whatever, trying to get money out of you, it's not going to go through. It's going to be declined. Because the reason why it's going to be declined is because spirit took, stripped all avenues of money. This person is very money hungry. All they were for, or all they were there for, is to be there with you for your money. So, so you could be male or female, take a high resonates. This person also traps you, okay, with having kid or a child or kids, so that way they can always be a constant tie to you guys, and that way money can also um, flow into their world. Just in case if something happens, that'll be the last resort, the backup there. It's not going to happen. If this person, Spirit is saying, this is like a strong warning. If this person decides to go after any type of like child support, any type of money, any type of court, something, whatever the case may be, the backlash in the karma, the extensive karma, the negative karma that they will receive for attempting to do that. And I've never heard it in that way before. And the reason why Spirit is giving it to me in this way is because they were just only... The connection was only money motivated. It was just only for money. They were only there with you because of your money. Not for love, not for nothing else. It was only solely for your money. And spirit is cracking down really hard. That's why spirit came down and stripped all of this person's assets and resources to making money. Um, and they meant that every avenue that they ever decide to take moving forward is going to be denied. I'm also hearing that this person has been wanting to apply for unemployment as well, too. They're having issues with that. So, like I said, spirit is, is cracking down hard on this person and making this person live like a fucking pauper. Like a really, you know, just just very, just poor. Just poor. This person looks old. They may look real old in age because of all of the stress. Yeah, if this person, I keep hearing, they keep saying that if this person decides to take you to court... For money or whatever the case may be, they're not going to win. Not only are they going to win, it's going to be declined. And it's going, they're going to fuck up their karma even more. They're going to have more karma placed on top of it. Leave, just leave the collective alone. You, you can't get any money from the collective. Just leave it alone. You cause your own demise. That's it. Leave it alone. Yeah, they look at you. They, they look at you as the horseshoe, uh, as the good luck here. They see you as the protection um unique opportunities yeah they just were looking for a come up and that come up is that 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 ain't gonna work boo bruh they never expected this to blow up in their face in a way that it did but the only reason why they were with you and i need for you guys to understand the only reason why they were with you and if you have a child or children with this person is to trap you because you are very good with money you know how to connect with money you know the way the money you know you just know how it works so you are seen as very successful and this person wants a piece of the pie and they thought well if anything happened we break up whatever which they never would have thought but they just they thought they thought everything out by having a child or children with you it would, would keep you stuck to them monetary that was the main thing monetary it ain't gonna work because they're not gonna get it and that's what's going to cause this person to probably cause suicide because they're realizing like damn i really fucked up my life here I really put this person through a lot of hell here. Um, and I didn't realize that it would affect me in such a profound way. That this person is really, truly going through it right now. Truly going through it right now. Yeah, heavy losses. Quill and ink. Tainted relationships. Rumors. Yeah, beware of a lawsuit or shady dealings. Listen, stop playing. Look. It say, beware of a lawsuit or shady dealings. Heavy losses. This is my new day, okay? Increased sexual pleasures, fertility. Safe journeys ahead. Relaxation. This person may want to try to come back in and try to get you pregnant again. Child, it's not going to work. This person is fucked. And this person uh, is really, truly feeling suicidal. And they feel like, you know, if this doesn't work, that they're going to go ahead and they're going to go ahead and um and do that. I just, I can't take, I just keep here. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. Missing someone from the past, stuck in the past, tainted memories, not spending enough time in the present. 
yeah this person is really truly they're having a fall from grace they're having a fall from grace you just never would expect they just never would expect it would have ended in this way but mm. so we got scorpio in the 10th house and uranus We have the second house in Sagittarius and um, Mars. Hold on. Let me get it. Let me get it. <laughs> we have the first house. In Capricorn, someone's identity in um, Mercury. Okay. We have Virgo. We have Leo. We have Capricorn. We have Virgo. Two more. We have Capricorn. One more. We have Cancer. All right. If that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time. Peace.